This is just a quick video to discuss the reasoning behind the trends. It's not meant to be an all-encompassing introduction, and you should make sure that you watch all the other videos first. All of the information here gets mentioned in those videos, but it seems to get overlooked among the initial definitions and initial introductions. So we have this large array of periodic trends. And remember, I generally include electronegativity in with the periodic trend section. I want to talk a moment about why these trends exist. Let's start with the horizontal trends. The horizontal trends all arise from one basic trend, and that is your effective nuclear charge. As you go to the right, your effective nuclear charge increases. And this is because your protons and electrons increase, but you do not increase your energy shells, which means that you don't increase shielding. This increased effective nuclear charge increases the electronegativity, the ionization energy, and the electron affinity. It also holds the electrons closer, and since most of the radius is made up of the electron density, it shrinks the atomic radius. Note that if we ever ask you why electronegativity, ionization energy, electron affinity, or atomic radius has a particular trend, or why the ordering of certain atoms within a periodic trend exists, the answer is never simply because the trend says so. You need to discuss the fact that the effective nuclear charge affects these other horizontal trends. Now let's talk about the vertical trend. As you go down the periodic table, you're adding more energy shells. By adding more energy shells, you increase the amount of shielding because the core electrons are going to be shielding the outside electrons. Remember to go watch the videos on shielding and effective nuclear charge if you need that review. As you increase the shielding going down the periodic table, your electronegativity, ionization energy, and electron affinities are all going to go down. And that's because they're further away from the nucleus and they have more core electrons that are blocking the outside electrons from feeling the pull of the nucleus. Atomic radius, however, goes up as you go down the periodic table. And this is because you're adding extra energy shells. So these extra energy shells take up more room and are further from the nuclei, leading to an increased atomic radius. The shielding also makes for a larger atomic radius because it blocks the protons from pulling the electron density n as far because of all of the core electron shells. 